And welcome back to The Long Run, where we are playing Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Last time we uh, started off on our journey and um, met a very large white dragon, which told us to get uh, this uh, dragon ring, which is a symbol of heroism. I wonder if I can equip that, actually. I cannot equip that, as it turns out. But uh, that does suggest that we'll be able to equip it at some point. Anyway. Uh, we we brought the dragon ring to the dragon and he gave us a pile of poo. So now let's go back to Berg and see what we can do with all of this. Alex, this diamond's gonna make us rich! We can almost taste the money we're gonna get! Alex, can you stop by Althina's statue? All that adventuring really wore me out. I agree, Mom. The diamond can wait a little while. Now the game is officially telling us stop at this statue in order to refill your stats. Ah, much better. I feel like a million silver. I bet that's how much we'll get for the diamond. Let's hurry to the shop and sell this thing. Capitalism! Yay! Hello, children. You are looking rather healthy. How can I be of service to you this fine day? I'm here to discuss business. How much will you give us? A, how much will you give us for this dragon diamond? Oh my gosh! I can't buy a diamond like this. I don't have enough money for even a sliver of this rock. Ah, I see. You're trying to trick me. Very sneaky. But seriously, how much? I am serious. You'll have to travel to a big city like Moravia to unload this baby. Moravia? The harbor city on the mainland? That's too far away from here. I'm gonna wait through Moravius to sell from safe. Okay, but like, what if I just want to do regular business? Maybe if I leave and come back, I'll be able to like, just buy some- oh, okay. Too bad, Remus. Now let's just go home before your mom gets worried. That's a good idea, because I'm starving. Maybe we can sneak inside and read the pantry. I mean, we probably would do well to equip up, but unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to have that option. At least not now. Alex, let's head for home. I'm completely pooped. Oh, that's the exit, right. Alex, do you think if we bring one of these home, we can get another dish added to the dinner menu? Now what dish are you talking about exactly? Do you mean the eggs or do you mean the chicken? Hmm. What's up, Remus? You actually look serious for once in your life. Well... What is it, Remus? You know, Luna... Ox and I need to have a little man-to-man -man chat. Alone. I'm not trying to sound mean, but would you give us some space? I'm really sorry about this, Luna. Man-to-man -man chat? No, I don't mind if that's what you're asking. Make sure that you're home before dark, alright, Alex? Alex. You heard what the shopkeeper said. The only place that we can sell the diamond is in the Rivia. I... I think we should go. It's not just about the money, Alex. I also want to prove my dad wrong. You've always talked about adventure, so come with me. I mean... I don't really care about your little capitalist foray. 
but uh, I need the I need to follow this whole Dragon Master thing through. So the trip is probably gonna take me to Moravia anyway. Of course I'll come with you. I have to explore the world and pass the, the Dragon Trials. Excellent, let's go right this minute before I change my mind. Hold on, Alex. How, what are we gonna do about Luna? You can't tell her, Alex. You know she'd never let you go. You have to understand, Alex. Girls are supposed to prevent boys from having fun. What kind of girls have you been talking to? It's just their nature. He's right, Alex. We both know what Luna would say to you. Absolutely not. Now make your bed and do the dishes before I tell your mother. You really want that, Alex? I don't think so. Me either. So we agree to not tell Luna, right? Right, let's go! Now I'm... I'm not down for this concept. I sure got the ring. Let's go! Without our healer, what could go wrong? Apparently we're not telling her. Which of course means that uh, the moment that we start leaving town, she's going to run up after us. Well, maybe not. Well, let's go to the woods. Surely nothing bad will happen without our healer. You know, Alex, um, they say the Gota woods are uh, haunted. Alex, we can't see where we're going. We can also can't see any of the monsters. Why don't we go back? If you're scared, Remus, just come out and say it. I'm not scared. Not at all. Ah, I'm sorry, Alex. I can't go any further. Ah. <laughs> the only other time I've seen Remus move like that is <laughs> involved a chow bell ringing. I mean, I wouldn't have minded getting the chest that was clearly just right there. Now back to Berg, I guess. Oh, great adventure. Let's pack it in, boys. Get out of the way, you friggin... Ah! Wouldn't be a proper RPG. There wasn't an NPC getting in your way, like, going out of their way to get into yours. God, blocked. Uh-huh. We just tried that, Reynos. I don't know if you, uh, if you just don't remember the fact that um, we tried to go to the Goto Woods and you decided to nope the hell out. I mean, you still can, J-Pop. You just wouldn't be the first one anymore. First, you're last. My father is right about me, Alex. I'm all talk and no action. Don't say that, Remus. 
With all that dense fog, we had to turn back. You were smart, now, not cowardly. I hope you're right. I'm going home to rest up. Let's try again in the morning. I'll wait for you at the village entrance, okay? Okay. And Alex, maybe you should tell Luna where we're going after all. See you tomorrow. Yeah, this is another place that has only one bedroom, but there are also these things here that are clearly beds. Also, what's up here? Oh, there's also another bed right there. Maybe these aren't beds? I don't know. I don't know, I'm trying to count beds here, it's like... Okay, so this is... This is Luna's room. Probably. So like, is that Alex's room up there? And then the mom and dad sleep here? I, I don't know. I think this is the time to invoke the MSC 3K mantra. Modified for video games. It's just a game. I should really just relax. Alex, did you go somewhere with Remus? No, the fog was too dense, so we came back home. Uh, not all. The go to woods? You're going to Meridia without me? It can't be true, Alex. I was only joking, right? I can't believe you leave me here. Uh, you leave here without so much as a goodbye. I don't think we have anything left to talk about, Alex. <sighs> you don't want to talk to me, so why should I talk to you? Chiangi. Quick, use your ocarina. I don't think that's gonna work. Obviously not something down here. We talk to the parents. Going to Meridia, just like Dino. Of course, I'm not surprised. You're old enough to make your own decision, Alex. I would never stop you from pursuing your destiny. It's one word of advice. Talk to Luna about your plans. She cares about you. Let her know what's going on. You're traveling to Meridia? Are you sure you re uh, are you sure you realize what a frightening and dangerous place it can be? You're just a child, Alex. Don't do this. Okay, I won't. Just stop the story right here. I am quite dead set on doing the thing. I know I can't stop you. All I ask is that you stay safe, Alex, and that you spend this wisely. Thousand money foods. He's probably still angry at us. Oh. Alex, I'm sorry I was upset with you. I forgive you. This time. But I'm going with I'm going to Moravia with you, and that's that. What? If you and Remus went all by yourselves, you'd be in danger. I have no choice. Don't even try to talk me out of this, Alex. You're not you're not gonna try to leave me be uh, behind this time, right? Alex, promise me you won't. Okay, okay. You can come with us. You know, you're just our, our only healer and all. Luna's going with you then? I'm glad, Alex. Don't worry about me or your mother, we'll be fine. What's wrong, Alex? You better get some sleep. Tomorrow's the big day, son. Tomorrow you embark on the greatest adventure of your life. The adventure I always wanted, but was too afraid to pursue. Don't be afraid, Alex. Don't give up. 
and don't come home until you've done what you've set out to do. Like, have fun on your journey and get the work out. Alex, Pops is right. That was the best speech I've ever heard. And all you go to bed too. Adventurers need their rest. Yes, sir. Starting today, I'm an, I'm an adventurer. seeing the same dream over and over again these past few weeks. The more I leave this village, I only have a little more. Hmm. Alex? That melody is coming from Alex's ocarina. I wonder if he's up at Dine's monument. Madison is performing a wink sink, oh no. Well, after this cutscene, I'll try to give you something. Hmm. You never you never would want to stay in bed when there's something exciting on the morning rounds. Wonder if you and Dragon Monster Dine ever felt so excited that he couldn't catch a wink of sleep like you, Alex. Then again, probably not, because this is dying we're talking about. Comparing the two of you side by side would probably make him turn over in his grave. Maybe not. What do you feel like this? I can always understand what your mother and father must be feeling. I guess I've taken it for granted that we'd all be that we'd always be together with Noel, surrounded by everything we knew. The two of us have always been together, great friends like brothers and sisters sister should be. But Alex, you're a typical boy. At least that's what your mother says. And boys always leave the nest and fly somewhere far away. But I... I'm... What's wrong, man? Really? You don't seem like yourself. Nothing, Alex. I just had a bad dream, that's all. Why am I acting like this? It's so childish. We're about to experience the greatest thrill of our lives. And I'm afraid of, of the fun and excitement I know we're going to have. Are you really all right? Ah, are you really all right, Lena? I sure hope it'll be fair weather tomorrow, Alex. Yeah, me too. I'm going home, Alex. Don't stay out here too late. You won't be able to journey far if you catch cold. And brush your teeth before you go to sleep, silly. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hey, Dragon Master Dine had great teeth. You better not aspire to anything less. Good night, Alex. Good night. At least they're not leaving their home village because they're outcast from it. Hi, moms. Hi, pops. I miss you, and I love you. Don't worry about Alex. I'll take good care of him. Yes, she will. Don't worry about us. We'll return soon. So I guess we should probably go pick up Remus before, uh, before we leave. Actually, before we do that, let's head back to Dine's Monument. For uh, Alex's daily attempt to try to pull out the sword. It says, in the honor of the great Dragon Master Dine, one of the legendary four heroes. Thy heroic deeds of selflessness shall never be forgotten. May thy soul rest in peace. I don't remember a day going by without you coming up here, Alex. Can't even begin to imagine the adventures that Dine had. And I'm just real safe for you. Ah, wink sink. Hmm. I 
<laughs> Just said it'd be silly to compare the two of us. So let's ruin my teeth. Let's see without Raven and see how he likes that. But yes, um, I guess one thing that I'll point out, which I'm pretty sure is in the manual but isn't like explicitly mentioned any anywhere, is this is the anime trope where um, well, we got the main character here, Alex, and we got Luna, who's basically his sister, but is the kind of sister where she was like, she came from kind of nowhere and was adopted by the hero's parents. Well, they're not blood related. Um, but it is kind of interesting. Like, the, the, this the idea of, like, your entire life, you've known this one little town and a little bit about its surroundings, but really not a whole lot, a whole lot more. And you know a little bit about the other, um, you know, the other places that people have come from to, um, visit Berg. But just the thought of leaving this tiny little place to uh, venture out into the world after just the day before meeting an enormous ass dragon who told us to get a ring and this is the sign that apparently Alex is destined to be the Dragon Master, the next in the line of the hero that he has come to idolize this entire time. It's kind of hard to put yourself in a place like that, just having to process all of the possibilities and the hopes and the dreams and the fears. But there's only one thing we can really do, and that's move forward. How about Remus? We told him we'd go together. He's right there. He can follow us. Hey, Alex. I was starting to worry about you. I hope the fog clears soon. Huh? <laughs> and all is right. Luna's coming after all. Of course, Remus. Someone has to keep you all out of trouble. That's no fun. All right, go to woods. Here we come. Next stop, the the port town of Safe. Yeah. No, this is not a Nisekai. Let, let's do one trope at a time, please. Anyway, let's go to the woods. It's worse than yesterday, Alex. There's no way we can stumble through this stuff. We can't keep giving up and going home, Ramus. We have to figure something out. Don't get upset now. There's something I'd like to try. What do you mean, Luna? What can you do? You're kind of joking, say sing, and then she just started doing it. Turns out she can just sing the blues away. Whoa! Wow! Fog just cleared up! Your voice, Luna, it's like magic! I don't know how I did that, Alex. I don't even understand how I knew I could. It just felt it in my heart and then my voice took over. But how I... Huh? Come on, guys! Now that the fog is gone, we can get to safe in no time! 
I also get this chest here. An, e uh, an ealing herb. And a antidote. Oh. I didn't see where I was on the screen, and then we were getting attacked. I'm sorry, what? Did you just barf on me through your eye? Is that what you just did? I don't appreciate that, sir. Poison pew. I don't like this enemy design. That is really creepy. Alright buddy, you can stop doing that. What did I just say? Okay, you asked for it. Um, so let's see what your super is as well. And you are at large. Oh, yes. So apparently that's one thing that not all can do. Unfortunately, I get the, I get the, the feeling that Nal can only do that once the battle is over. Also, one thing that I uh, that I kind of noticed but didn't actually point out, I just love that little battle shimmy that uh, that Yuna's doing. Like they're money for the two seconds of a dream as you wish your heart makes. You know what I just re what, I, what I just realized that I forgot about? We didn't go to the store. We should probably turn back and do that. Because this is probably why we're having such a hard time with these fights, because we didn't equip up. Thank <laughs> you. 
I mean, it also doesn't help that everything, it, everything in this forest appears to be a friggin' status mission. Does him and I don't know if that was any stronger than just a regular attack, but uh That even restored uh, MP, but it did not restore status. Interesting. Okay. We're finally down to three against the one. You know what, like, I, I get what you're saying, Madison, but also it's not nearly as egregious as, um, there's one song from Dragon Quest that, uh, basically has a bit of melody that sounds exactly like friggin' Cruel Summer by Banana Rama. Okay, let's go let's go to the shop and equip up because that was clearly causing some problems. Oh we have to talk to the front of the statue. Got it. There we go. Now we can uh, Interesting, we have the equip option. Pointy projectiles. Have 13 healing herbs. I don't think we need any more. Let's get a couple of cleansing waters. I'm feeling charitable. I will. Uh, I, I will help out Ramus a little bit. Alright, back out to adventure we go. 
a little better equipped this time. Is there anything over here? There is. There's two different paths. They both seem to go to the same screen, so we're not really missing them. Why does literally everything here poison? Like, holy crap. levels up and get 69 HP. That's something at least. Antidote. And another antidote will probably need them. Kids would say, Adequate. Now, Alex's super is almost charged up. But that's fine. And there we go. I think uh, Alex is charged up now. Zephyr Blade, uh, you're going to use Purity Song, and you do it. There we go. Didn't even need to use Purity Song. Luna, from Slumber Song. It's time for sleepy, uh, time for sleepy buys. Bah. What? What are you? Stay back! Get away from us! There are too many of them, Alex. Let's run for it! We're surrounded! Alex, I'm too young and promising to die! What have we here? Looks like we've got a bit of trouble. Who are you? Where'd you come from? Who, me? Well... Perhaps this isn't the best time for an introduction. Do you kids want some help, or do you think you can handle, handle these critters by yourselves? Uh... I'm welcome for some assistance. Well then, let's have a crack at these thugs. Suckers are coming and I need to work up an appetite. Are you going to bed, J-Pop? Anyway, it appears that we have been ambushed. Oh geez, level 99. Another one of these. Okay. That, that was the thing that just happened. I just said it was sleepy time, gotcha. 
You probably get something special if you are able to, you know, get this down yourself. The only way that I feel like I could have potentially gotten it down myself though is that if I hadn't just spent Alex's super. Just casually taking out three in one turn, that's fine. Hey, Ramus actually got one down. Out, and we survived a very difficult fight. We did it! Who are you, mister? I should ask, what are you? My name is Reik Bogard. I'm the king of Sasurai. I'm the king of Sasurai. こんな物騒なところで何をしていたんだ迷子か遠足か何冒険だって<笑> Now that felt unnecessary. What's so funny? The four of you are on an adventure? That's the best line I've heard in some time! <laughs> tell you what, I'll whip up a nice fire and some grub and you can tell me all about it. Don't worry kids, the smoke from the herbs I'm burning will keep the monsters at bay. You're smarter than you look, mister. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you, I think. But I'm not smart. When you travel as much as I do, you just learn things along the way. Come on, kids, it's chilly. Let's get closer to the fire. I just realized. I haven't even asked your names yet. You can call me Laika. I am Alex. This is my friend Ramus. Hello. I know. I'm Newman. We're traveling from the village of Berg. Thank you for defeating the monsters. Uh, thank you for, def for helping us defeat the monsters, Laika. You're quite kind. What's that? Luna? Or her? Or Alex? Hmm. Is something wrong like that? No, well, it's nothing really. Just I happen to remember that Dragon Master Dying, one of the legendary four heroes, was from here as well. That's all. Yes, Dragon Master Dying is our hero. Uh, is our hero. Well, he's my hero. I've dreamt of growing up to be just like him. So you're gonna be a dragon master, huh? I, uh, I, I'd like to. Well, there's nothing better than having big dreams, am I right? But for all those big dreams to become a reality, you'll need to eat well and get plenty of rest. Those are what I do best. <laughs> I'm sure you're right now. All right then, get yourselves cleaned up and hit the sack. You've got an early day ahead of you. I don't know what kind of cleaning that we could be doing in a place like this, but, you know. I see. Adventure, is it? <laughs> what the? Micah is gone. I wonder if he really took off. He was definitely one strange cookie. Even so, anyone who lost at my jokes is a good man. You have to meet him again. I feel the same way. He sure was a great swordsman. In comparison, you've got a long way to go, Alex. If you don't polish those skills, then who's going to protect me? She has a point, Alex. We can't count on people to bail us out of trouble if... Oh, never mind. Let's go. We should almost be out of these woods. Once we're out, we need to follow the coastline south. We should find ourselves at the port, the port town of Safe. 
then it's often our first glorious step toward Moravia. Anything in this room? Doesn't look like it. There is, however, another one of those red chests. It is also locked. And I guess it's like in Crosscode, eventually you find the key that opens all of these red chests. Old Hag's Forest. What is this? I know we're supposed to go to safe, but um, let's check out what this is. Oh, this uh, this place sounds threatening. I don't know if it's a good idea for us to be here. We can at least get this. Oh, geez. Or maybe we can't. Oh, it's just a bunch of fireflies. This, this will be fun. See? Yeah, these guys are on our level. Where's my one hit death? Oh, no one hit death at least from these guys. Bring the souls up. What about this chest? Oh god, really? So like, is every chest going to be a trick? Is that what we're, is that what we're doing here? Now uh, Luna's not looking too great. Hopefully she heals herself this turn. And indeed. Guys are evasive though, and I don't really appreciate that. Some support from the back line here to actually beat this. And all we get is a uh, healing herb. And also, Alex levels up and his range increases, so that's good. So this is this is what kills us, right? This is what kills us. Hmm. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's fine. Honestly, I'm surprised that uh, Ramus is doing that much damage considering that none of his stats except for HP go up. Oh, 
for 2 HP, and that's the kill. Hey, that level's up. Actual chest reveals a healing herb. This uh, this area sure does like its trap chests. Not that this trap is particularly effective anymore. to reach that? It sure are. There isn't even an item in this chest. There's one in this one though. At least there's that. Ooh, five dudes. And Alex's uh, super is not anywhere close to being filled. But uh, Luna's super is ready. In case we need a lot of healing fast. It is kind of looking like we will need. Especially if they keep attacking Luna. There are other targets on the field. Please hit Alex. Really? How is Luna still up? Holy crap, she took a beating there. Um, you know what? Uh, you attack. You attack. This is guy's fun. Uh, you're going to goddess him. And uh, you're going to use an antidote. Not on yourself, you dumb butt. That was wasted. Are you kidding me? Okay. And then she gets a re-poison, not that it's any more effective. Actually, Luna's doing better than she was last turn. Uh, you're going to... Use Slumber Song, see if that helps. And then you are going to use a Healing Herb on the one who's actually freaking hurt. I got two of them. Okay, I think I'm good to leave it on uh, out of control for this turn. They 
really like to attack Nina. Like, I don't know what else to, to say here. I was gonna say, why would you attack the one that's sleeping? But uh, hey, if you're gonna take it out, that's perfectly fine too. There we go. We, we have turned the tides here. That was a harrowing battle, but we got through it. Um, no, we should probably do it. Yeah, obviously. happening again. At least this time it's three against three. what she should be doing. So now I can just uh, get rid of that poison at the end of the battle. Eight hundred monies. Ooh, that looks nasty. I think it's time to bring out the big guns. You can do whatever. Yeah. You should take a, care of at least three of them. We have not de uh, dealt with these bees before, so. We will continue not to deal with uh, these walls. Because the one attack one of them got was a miss. Okay, um, this looks like progress. This is a bit of a tonal shift. What's this? A rather enticing banana, I'd say, but to trap this primitive, I don't think there's any animal in the world stupid enough to get caught in it. Same text. Oh. Let's go take a visit to whoever might be in here. Some major duty duty. Same text. A little small for a washtag, buddy. Little red chest. Yeah, what the what's that awful smell? Looks like there's a frog in there. Or the snake? Or both? Mr. Nice Tittles. I know who Mr. Tiddles is.
Hello. You have no idea who I am. Cat's the other white meat? What? So that's what happened to my buddy, Mr. Tiddles. Oh dear. Are you eating these animals? Ma'am, I'm with the SPCA. I'm here to turn you in. Ah, what? What are you rats doing in my house uninvited? It's safe, you see. Look to, look to the south. Now get out. Good. I'm glad we wasted all of this time. You know what? This is good for experience. Uh, let's see if uh, we can just use uh, one of those war coins. Let's get out of here the purple way. At least we've dealt with the chests in here, so we won't have to do that again. Yay, we made it safe. It's all 10 weeks of fish. Orca goes there. Next time we deal with her. Also, there's like a weird scene like right here. You see that? I'm guessing that's something to do with the upscaling that I'm using. Oh, we definitely know about the four heroes. No? I mean, we, we've been told the story of the four heroes like 50 times. I mean, we don't know them personally, I guess. Clyde? You mean that AI bot that's been all over Discord lately? Please leave me alone, sir. Hmm. He's talking to his beer. I lost all the money I uh, earned on my last voyage. I'm sorry, what? Looks like your search for a bride is over. No, please. Ma'am, you appear to have a spike stuck in your forehead. By the gambler. So, you're not setting sail because some idiot gambled away a uh, map. That's all we need to do is get some maps. So I guess we probably have to talk to Clyde. There's also this red chest here.
You look important. Okay. Now, please. Let's go talk to the gambler, who's not in this house, but going in this house anyway. Yes, we are adventurers. Hell Mill. After fighting for seven days? Damn. I'm getting old and so is this story. Why do you let me keep talking like this? It's a weapon shop. Excellent. What the... Kinky yet comfy, what? I'm sorry, like what ideas are you getting here? Let, let's not, please. No, I have the money. Let's outfit... Let's outfit the... Ramus as well. now. Um, back in the first part of town. All right, come in, Clyde. As long as I have money, uh-huh. Okay, apparently, uh... Oh, I didn't want to talk to you again. I'll heave all over... all over Clyde. But basically, you're gonna get sick, and then you're gonna work on this jerk. The renowned singer from Berg. I mean, Luna, she's right here. Okay, so apparently we need to, like, talk to the right guy. The VIP of the Magic Guild. Okay. Hope he's happy that the entire village now knows about my male pattern baldness. What? I, I don't think anyone was asking that question. She has a great pair of lungs. You got those pipes. Yes, we know about them. Well, we heard something 
So, so the two points that we have to go on right now is plus the beer is watered down. So the two points that we know is that the captain of the orca um, gambled away his sea chart and Clyde probably has it. And also there's some VIP mage dude that's walking around safe apparently. with a crazy hairdo moving girls were good singers. How would this random person know about Luna? That is indeed the food they're looking for. If, if uh, Dime was trying to sell a dragon diamond. The Dock Master. Alright. Are you the Dock Master? Can't be caught, can't be driven. So Clyde might be cheating. I'm safe here. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Maybe this guy is the dock master. Uh -huh. I just made his twinkle with the light every time he gets two cars with pretty pictures on them. Okay, surely we have talked to enough people at this point to um, try to talk to Clyde again. Yes, I do want the sea chart. Put your money where your mouth is. Play for a hundred silver. Pass a coin and guess heads or tails. Yeah, of course it is. But notice that uh, Ramus is kind of trying to pay attention to this. Give me my money. Hey Alex, did you look at the coin he's using? I mean, really look? What do you mean, Remus? The coin he flips isn't the same as the coin he shows us. Clyde is switching after the toss. What? Are you sh are you sure we should accuse the best gambler in this town of cheating? Come on, no. If anyone knows anything about money, it's me. Let's do it one more time. It'll be fun, I promise. You kids are back? Come on now, I don't want to win no more yell ants. It just ain't right. You just want to make things more interesting, Clyde. You want to bet this. Handed over the dragon diamond. That is how confident Ramus is about this. Ramus, you better be sure about what you're doing. We didn't want we didn't come all the way to safe to lose the diamond on the coin flip. Holy goddess Althena! I reckon this is the prettiest rock I've ever seen. You got yourself a bet, son. Got you now, Clyde. Sir Ramus' plan was to beat up Clyde? Sheer genius. Put that coin down, boy. 
Why, Clyde? So I don't notice it's the same on both sides? Hi, you're nothing but a lying, cheating weasel. <laughs> I knew the coin was fake but, uh, when I heard it hit the table. A real coin makes a deeper clink. Outsmarted by a brat. Well, it looks like my gambling days are at an end. I guess even the mighty Clyde has lost his edge. Got back the Dragon Diamond. 200 silver. I see your accent was as fraudulent as your coins. Don't you know you can't con a con, man? Game over, buddy. Now hand over the sea chart. Uh, sorry to disappoint you all, but you won't find it here. What? You said we had to gamble for it. You said you had to gamble, but I never once mentioned that I had the chart. You sneaky son of a... Look, I gave the chart, the sea chart to some old hag in the forest northwest of safe in exchange for this. But the fortune staff, take it with you. Perhaps the, mo the woman will trade you back for the staff or for something or someone else. Now's when we go to the hag's hut. Maybe we can avoid some of these fights. Also, these fights should go along a little faster now that we're a little better equipped. How do you miss a shot like that at point blank range? Way to go, ladies. Alex getting dodgy here. Down they go. Hmm. Let's try a different path. Getting oh, it's this fight again. Can you run away? We sure can't. I mean, my main problem here is the fact that those uh, those things just take so long to cast. No, oh, that's just... I didn't want to try to run away again. I wanted to set it to automatic fight, and instead we're just taking more damage. the correct option this time. Hey, nice crit.
Have you lost your voice in them? Like, you can sing yourself better, you know? Cascade Song and Ramus levels up too. And it's kind of too bad that we've spent the warp point already. There, there is one thing that I would really like to be able to do before we, uh, before we call the stream. What is this supposed to be? Some kind of booby trap? Can't imagine anyone or any anything or anyone moronic enough to stumble under this thing. Hmm. Uh, scratch that thought. Hello. Who's in there? Um. What exactly are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing, peasant? I order you to release me from this contraption immediately! Sounds pretty rude, Alex. What are we gonna do? I say we leave him here. He isn't hurt, and I'm sure he'll get out of this thing eventually. But I'm tempted to agree. I think we should help him. Like it didn't deserve us when we needed his help. I suppose you're right. Okay. Yeah, like you did, buddy. What are you saying? You're the one who got who was trapped, pal, not us. I'm gonna kill you to let a to let a thing slip from your lips. Who, me? I'm in the third rank of the Magic Guild. And the best magician in my age group. I'm also the most of the I'm also apprentice to the powerful Sage Galleon. How dare you say I was trapped when I was just uh when I was investigating how this silly device was made. That's why I hate leaving the city. You country folk don't have any manners. The sheer nerve of this moron art is unbelievable! Hello, Nash. My name is Luna. We are all travelers from the village of Berg. These are my friends, Alex, Ramus, and Noah. Are you also going to visit the old woman? You should join us. It would be much safer for us to travel together. Go with you? Oh, protecting beautiful women and simpletons is the duty of every guild member. Alright, I'll travel I'll travel to the Hag's house with you. I just hope you all appreciate my exceedingly kind gesture. Oh, I think I have a headache. I think Nash is a headache. You said you were from Berg Village, didn't you? I've heard that a girl with a beautiful voice lives there. Do you know her? Beautiful voice? It must mean you then, right, Luna? You're the songstress of Berg? I'd love to hear you sometime, Luna. I'd love to hear you sometime, Luna. Oh, all right. All right, I'll hold you to that. Now let's go have a few words with this old bag. Who put you in charge, Buster? Alex, this guy bugs me a lot. Luna, punch him. On the pricking of my thumb, something tasty this way comes. Uh, um, hello, children. Don't you look delicious, uh, delightful? What is your business with me? You want the sea chart? Well, since I assume you won't part with your tasty little pet there, will you trade me the water flow stuff? 
What? I was given the staff by Galleon when I left Bane. I'm not about to exchange it with a warty old hag for a crummy old map. We need that sea chart, Alex. What do we do? Would you like to ask him, Alex? He seems to be fond of me. Uh, would you like me to ask him, Alex? No way, Luna. The only thing this egomaniac understands is tough talk. Mm. You know what? Give it a try, Ramus. You're obliged to help us, Nash. We helped you escape that trap in the in the woods when you were screaming like a little girl. And now you'll you'll help us get to Meridia by giving up your silly that silly little staff of yours. You see what I'm saying? What are you talking about? I was merely inspecting that trap. I wasn't caught in it. It's a moment like it's moments like this that remind you why I detest you backwoods ingredients. Nice negotiating, nice negotiating, Ramus. Now what are we gonna do? The trade goes both ways. Kids, hand over the water flow staff and I'll give you the sea chart. Alright, Luna, please. Nash, without the sea chart, we can't sail to Meridia. We desperately need to go there. I'm begging you, please. Will you trade your staff with the old woman? Hey, Nash, you need help picking your job off the floor? I... Uh, wow. Luna, there's no way I would turn down a woman as lovely as you. Here you go. Thank you, kitties. And here's the sea chart. You know, these days, my attack magic isn't what it used to be. With this staff, I can at least feel safe when I go walking. I mean, we just got a staff, so we can probably, um... Oh, apparently you can't use the, the fortune staff. Oh, no, wait, that's Ramus. You can use the fortune staff. There you go. You're equipped now. It's fine. Uh, are these any of these upgrades? What's this? Mia Bromide One? Hmm. So let me introduce you to the Bromides. There's a bunch of these throughout the game, and they're just pictures that don't really amount to much other than just being collectibles. Also, I guess this one does grant one point of wisdom. Anime! But yeah, there are a bunch of those throughout the game, as evidenced by the fact that that one is called Mia Bromide 1. We don't know who Mia is, but maybe we'll meet her at some point. Let's get the fork out of here. This should go a little faster now that there's four of us. That quickly went uh, right down to uh, four, four against two. And they're still targeting Luna. Like, I don't get it. Why always Luna? Oh! Alex, when did you get an extra attack? Yeah, sure enough, number of attacks, too.
But yes, now that we have the uh, the C chart, hopefully we don't need to find a navigator. I wonder what's going on. Everyone looks so, looks so busy. I bet they're just trying to finish up their work before dinner. Uh, that reminds me, when do we eat? No time to eat. Just pray to the goddess and you'll be fine. You brought the sea chart. I'm grateful to the lot of you. But me ship is being devoured by a wretched beast from the hellish depths. Hard. Must have been all the fish sitting in the, in the cargo hold that attracted it. Did you say fish? Also, we have to help this guy. This might go a little bit long, but also, uh, we kind of started a little late. Technically. It isn't the kids who, who broke Clyde's 20-year winning streak. Bravo. You think I could be a full-time gambler? I call myself Bond. Ramus Bond. What? How, what? Why are you making a James Bond reference of all things? Come on, guys. Why don't you laugh with me instead of at me? Um, so do we need to... Talk to someone specifically. Thank you. Yeah, where is where is the orca? We'll deal with this jellyfish. I offer him to slay the monster for me. Uh, let's save first. Come to think of it. We'll save all your fish, sir, won't we, Alex? Of course we will. It is the sworn duty of the guild to protect and serve the public. I'll simply use my thunder magic to electrocute you, the pathetic beast. You should feel lucky that you that you got me here to save the day. Well, Sherry me timbers, hi, rusty kids. Walk this way to my ship and wash your stuff. Run while you still can, Captain! Captain, we all tried to attack the monster, but it was no use. He just ate all of our weapons. I'll let the deckhands retreat until we figure out what to do. Uh, what are we gonna do, Captain? Captain, the monster's eating right through the hull. Let's get out of here before it starts looking for dessert. Captain, please don't think any less of me for saying this, but run away! Par, my crew is all a blasted bunch of lily livid scallywags. To think I let these scurvy dogs sail with me. You kids aren't afraid, though. And that's why I'm gonna let you handle the monster all on your own. Har! Yeah. Real brave there. Now yeah, let's save again. This is what ha what has everyone running scared, Alex? Dude, it's a giant blue burger. The saline slimer. You say you're gonna use your thunder, but like, that's your super. You can't use it until you're angry enough. I believe EZ is enemy zone. Um, this Cascade song, Fortify Friend. Let's go ahead and use that on Alex. And uh, you still don't have any magic, and never will, so. Actually, that seemed pretty thunderous. 
I wish the cast gave Simon run off first, but when? Attack up by 12. Why are you running up to it? You can attack from distance. But you get two attacks. But you know what? So does Alex. So you're going to attack two, and you're going to attack. There you go. That's how you use a bow and arrow from a distance. Mucus. Focus, 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 focus. Oh, what is this? Well, I guess, uh. I guess Alex is just stuck right now. I wonder if I can use purity sign. Uh, can you just keep doing it? Honestly. Yeah, looks like that worked. Looks like uh, Nash needs a little bit of help. Do sword dance, because why not? We just keep magicking. You want it, you wanted to hear Luna's song? Or you're about to get it in the face. I kind of remember this boss being rougher, but that might also be just combined with the fact that um, experience gain was uh, severely reduced in the uh, PlayStation version. It's Ramus. I'm not overly worried, honestly. You know what? It's it's the Luna thing to do to let him out of his his entrapment. <laughs> not that it matters anyway. Apparently bosses just don't have money. It levels up and learns explosive stab. Nash levels up. Luna levels up. And learns tranquil song. Level ups all around. Half this world is broke as frick. Har, you kids did it. You slew the beast and saved me ship. It'd be kind enough to hand over the sea chart. Here you go. Her, I'll never let this lovely rag out of me grasp again. You're headed for Meridia, aren't you? I insist that you sail there with me on the Orca. We're talking free of charge, right? Har, of course. Without what you did, I wouldn't have a ship to sail. Whatever you, whatever I can do to help you, I will. It'll take me crew a while to fix the damage, but it'll be done by the morning. I'll make sure of that. These buggers are looking to have jobs after that cowardly display, Har. Get some rest at the doghouse. I'll have the crew roast you at daybreak. Then you heard me! Get to work! And the first one of you that ran away gets to swab the slime off the deck. 
Tomorrow, Alex. Tomorrow we're going to be in the biggest city in the world. What do you think it'll be like? Will the people be friendly? Will they have good fish? <laughs> you know what the best part of this, Alex? My my dad wouldn't believe me. I wouldn't believe it if he saw it. I'm just happy to be leaving this hillbilly haven behind. A person as sophisticated as I am needs the commerce and culture of the city. I also need people who listen to me while I'm speaking. Let's head back to the sailor's lodge and get some rest, out, and some rest Alex. Tomorrow we'll be setting sail for the mainland. Good idea, Rennes. Luna, is something the matter? I'm sorry. Why don't you go on ahead? Catch up. Alex, something's up with Luna. We saw the look on her face. Let's talk to her and find out what's wrong. Luna. Alex. I'm I'm not going to marry you with you, Alex. I'm staying here. Luna? I don't understand. Everything you've talked about. Everything you've dreamed of since you were a boy has come true, Alex. You're on a great adventure, just like dying. I always told you that I believed in you, but deep in my heart, I'm not certain I really did. I also would be so surprised at what's happening to us, Alex. It's just so unbelievable. You've grown so strong, Alex. Strong, to, strong enough to venture into the unknown. Nothing but confidence in yourself and your friends. Hmm. If I couldn't put all my faith and my trust in you, how can you put yours in me? All I would be on this trip is a burden, Alex. I know you won't admit that, even to yourself, but somewhere deep down you know it's true. It's not like that, you know? I've made up my mind, Alex. I'll watch you set sail in the morning, and then I'll return to work. I'll wait for you there, Alex. I'll always wait for you. Good night, Alex. Luna. Are you sure you are you sure you can't stay here, Luna? We'll be lonely without you around. I'm really sorry about this one. But I'm worried about Alex's parents and how they'd manage in our absence. I've made up my mind to stay on the island. I miss you, Luna. Well, you have to take care of Alex for me, right? No problem, Luna. If we get into trouble, I'll just talk us out of it. Take care of yourself, Alex. Don't do anything too dangerous. Don't sleep with your feet sticking out from, uh, sticking out from under the covers. You'll catch cold. Don't forget to eat an orange or two on the ship, and... Don't forget about me. Har, raise the sails. Take care, Luna. Remember to tell my dad I'm not coming back until I've made my first million. Farewell, Luna. I'm confident we'll see each other again. Bye, Luna. So long. See ya. I'll miss you, Alex. Goodbye. Goodbye. Luna, let's go, Nico. アタラシー世界もすごい冒険もルーナと一緒じゃないとダメなんだ。僕はルーナと一緒にいろんなことを知りたいんだ。アレス。行こう。ルーナ。え、アレス。ゴープ Stinger Meat Shield well and you'll be right here with us, where you will. Well, Alex, I don't know about this. I... What's wrong, Luna? Your face is all red. I'm just trying to catch my breath. That's all. I knew you'd come with us, Luna. I have faith in you. Oh, Alex.
Alex, I don't know about you, but I'm getting chilly out here. Wanna head below? There is something that I wanted to happen before we, um, before we left off here, but, um, we're pretty much at time. Uh, interesting fact, the original version of this game, which was not on the PlayStation, but on the Sega CD, as Lunar the Silver Star. Um, I believe in that version, Luna actually does not board the ship. Uh, that changes with the PlayStation version, and obviously that change is maintained in the PSP version. Any dang way, we're headed off to Moravia, and uh, there's plenty of adventure and uh, Possibly lots of money for uh, our capitalist friend, but um, that shall have to wait until next time. So thank y'all for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Zero, Grim, Madison, J-Pop, Tyrion. Well, a big crowd today. Y'all can follow me on co-host, co-host.org slash GuilliamZX, and consider supporting me on the Verape. Or stream elements and the links are there in the chat. The next scheduled stream is going to be uh, on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Archipelago multi world shenanigans. And that takes us around the week, around the wheel to our next um, long run stream next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. We're going to continue our run through of. Lunar Silver Star Harmony and um, see what lies in Meridia and parts beyond. So thank y'all for hanging out. Um, thank y'all for watching. I'm cool here if you don't know. See you guys next time.